Hello everyone, here's a question on percentage. The question is, an alloy of a tin and copper consists of 15 parts of tin and 105 parts of copper. Find the percentage of copper in the alloy. Now what is alloy? Alloy is nothing but mixture of two different metal or more than that. So here there is a metal, a tin and copper and the part of tin is 15 and part of copper is 105. They are asking what percentage of copper is present in this alloy. They are asking percentage of copper in the alloy. Now if you see tin is 15 parts and uh, copper is 100 parts. So total we have to first find out. So let us first write on what we know from the question. Right. So. Okay. So given. So here I want to write down amount of tin is equal to 15 parts. Similarly, amount of copper is equal to 105 parts. So total will become, so total weight will be, so 105 plus 15 when you do it, it will be equal to 120 parts. So total total is 120. Out of this 120, 15 part is tin and 105 part is uh, this thing copper. So we have to find out the percentage of the copper here. So we know that out of this 120, 105 is the uh, part of the copper. So what we're going to do here is, so like I said before, total is 120. In this 120, 105 is the copper. And then we have to find out the percentage. So percentage, whenever you're finding out, you have to multiply by 100. So we're going to multiply this by 100. So after solving this, whatever answer you got, that will be the percentage. Right? I hope it's clear. We have found the total parts here. Total is 120 by adding up these two. And we're going to find, like, how you're going to find out the marks, like, uh, you have uh, 10 out of 20 in your exams, right? Similarly, like that. Here, out of 120, we have 105. So, 105 out of 120 is the total. But since we're finding out the fraction here, uh, so we're going to be finding out the percentage here, we have to multiply with 100. So, let's write down that. So, percentage percentage of copper will be equal to it is 105 divided by 120 right and then we're going to multiply it with 100 so let me just write it once again this so it will be 105 out of 120 now since we're finding out the percentage we're going to multiply with 100 now to the cancellation cancel the numbers I'm going to cancel the 0 and then 0 we have 10 and 12. We're going to cancel this in two table. 2 6 are 12. And then 2 5 are 10. We cannot cancel anything further. So this will be equal to 105 multiplied by 5 divided by 6. So let's multiply this two number. 105 multiplied by 5 will be equal to. So 5 5 is 25. 5 0 is 0. So 2 will be down. 5 1 is 5. So we got 5 25. So this is equal to 525 divided by 6. So we're going to get the answer in decimal here. Let's divide these two numbers. So 525 divided by 6. So we know that uh, 6 eights are 48. So 6 eights are 48. That's the nearest number. When you subtract it, 4 will, be b 4 will be the remainder. Drop this 5. We got 45. So 6 sevens are is 42 subtract it 3 will be the remainder put the decimal point and bring take the 0 here so 6 5 is a 30 we got the remainder 0 so the answer is 67 8 sorry 87.5 so this is equal to 87.5 put the percentage symbol so that's it i hope it's clear in case you have any other question or doubt you can drop a comment thank you so much for watching